happened, so we know what's happened leading up to this meeting. Sure, sure. So does anything change? Um, you know, I'm actually a little more sanguine around what could happen to rates, uh, partly because the, the real key that you've seen the last several months uh, with this large increase in particularly the longer end um, and the belly, but not so much the front end that's more affected by the Fed, is you've seen a dramatic rise in real rates. The reason why everybody hated Treasuries when they were uh, only being bought by the Fed, to your point, uh, is that there's really no real return with inflation at whatever level, and you can argue about even what that is, uh, and certainly whatever level it may be, you are guaranteeing yourself a negative return. And that's pre-tax for those folks that are right. taxable. So that's not attractive. Now you actually have a positive real return. You know, hooray, it's not great. Uh, it's about 1% below where it was uh, in the middle of the last decade in the 2000s. So maybe, you know, maybe you have another 1% to go. But with falling inflation, not rising inflation, you've seen rising rates. That's very, very unusual. So falling inflation, rising rates, gives you at least some prospect of return. So, with the slower kind of st uh, stall speed, you know, a kind of economy in the United States, 2% sort of seems where, we're, where, where we are. Um, I think we're, it's, it's not as terrible as, as the recent rate rise would lead folks to believe. Where do you think the 10-year will be at the end of the year? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at least you admit it. Sure, mess. no. You know, every forecaster says, yeah. well, I'm <laughs> forecasting this, so now it's changed. Now I'm forecasting, you know, higher or whatever. That's true across the board. Uh, in general, I'll uh, let you have a range. Sure. So. Let's start with fundamentally where, quote unquote, should it be, and as a sort of as a as a as a starting point, uh, and then we can talk about sentiment. So, if you look at the possible path of Fed changes, right? So, say we do about 180,000 jobs a month. That's kind of sort of what we've been averaging, and we do that for a long time, for years. To, to say that we're going to do that is ridiculous, but it's a simplifying assumption. Mm -hmm. That's what we have seen, so what are we going to see going forward? And the Fed eventually normalizes rates to, say, 4% as a number. Uh, what you're looking at for a fair value of treasuries is you know, kind of in the low 3% area, so not too different from here. Um, I think that this, the, the, the excitement around owning treasuries is really not there, and what you're going to have to do is get other kinds of investors interested in, in the returns that, that those might generate. And that will only occur as and if there's sort of a little shakeup. Um, yeah. We had a little bit of a scare around Syria, that sort of geopolitical tension. Um, treasuries do gain a bid when things are a little scary. Usually. Usually. Um, and so I think, I think it's likely we'll see some sort of bump, just because we always do, and then it'll highlight that value and kind of clean up the market a little bit. But from a fair value perspective, low threes, you know, because people kind of don't want it and want to rotate, you know, maybe mid 3% by the end of the, end of the year.